A great painter once proposed, if artists could fill their canvas with all the colors in their head, they would soon exceed the imagination of the human eye. Artists have always attempted to push the boundaries of human experience, to expand our knowledge and breadth of understanding, to empathize more, to experience more, to be more. A hard limit to this desire has always been physics, an unbendable obstacle in the path towards perfect art. In the past, artistic pioneers couldn't find a way to transcend these limits. Now, we have. Welcome to the works of Aguilar. Chapter 1. The Basics. We must start with the basics of sight. Light is a wave of electromagnetic energy oscillating at a specific frequency. In order to categorize them, we organize these frequencies from slowest to fastest on the electromagnetic spectrum. The human eye is sensitive to a small sliver of these frequencies. Once inside the eye, light is decoded by four kinds of receptors, each sensitive to a specific range in the spectrum. Of these receptors, cones are the most sensitive and specialized. The brain interprets information from these cones as color. Combinations of these frequencies, stimulating a mix of different cones, are responsible for every hue we can perceive. Chapter 2. Malenta Through a process known as obfuscation, the electromagnetic spectrum around Malenta, Texas holds different properties. The resolution of this scale has effectively increased, allowing access to new frequencies all across the spectrum. In addition, cones inside the eye now function differently. Tiny variations in each kind of cone leads to slightly different frequency ranges, allowing the viewer to differentiate between more shades of existing colors, primarily green. However, the most interesting addition to this visual palette is undoubtedly Luum. Chapter 3, Luum. Luum is a tertiary color with a story not unlike purple. Purple is not represented by a frequency, but instead a combination of two frequencies, red and blue. Similarly, Luum is a combination of blue and yellow creating a hue as distinct from its parent colors as red is to green. Examples of this vibrant color in the wild include yarrow flowers, the backs of many blister beetles, and the leaves of Texas sage. Luum has fascinated painters and theorists alike, becoming a study of focus at Malenta University, where Aguilar trained. Chapter 4, Aguilar. What if the unique properties of Malenta spanned the globe? Aguilar's collection is a calico journey into multiple art movements, all incorporating this atypical local palette. As this exhibit is set up outside Malenta, each piece will be visually confusing or seemingly incomplete in the showing. To compensate, some pieces are accompanied with a translation a smaller recreation using typical color palettes to help wider audiences appreciate the piece. Chapter 5, Translations. Item 2, Chlorophyll Industry, is a perfect example of Aguilar's integration of this unique color palette, a romantic capture of the Texan countryside. The image is made of shades of green so indistinguishable to outside observers, it appears to be a purely green canvas. However, when we adjust the contrast, the vista reveals itself with wonderful clarity. The monochromatic palette also lends many other artistic qualities, such as coaxing the eye to fill in the other hues present in this beautiful landscape. Item 8. Jacket. 
is a cubist piece using exotic textures and shades to invoke an everyday object. The translation piece allows us to see the abstracted writing in the leather. Divert your attention to the Luum and eggshell red highlights, which many viewers interpret as buttons, hotspots, or dye in the fabric. Item 13, Path Through It, is Aguilar's expressionist interpretation of a non-Euclidean zone. As light and perspective works differently inside, the viewer is left without guidance, except for a Luum path that spans the canvas. Chapter 6, Departure. In a dissertation about their own exhibit, Aguilar reflects on their work as imperceptible art. The exclusionary elements of my exhibit, while not initially intentional, serve as a grim reminder of the futility of universal art. In contrast to a colleague who is merely attempting to find fans in a sea of disinterest, I find myself seeking out those who would even have the ability to perceive my art. For reasons beyond my comprehension, this audience is entirely within Malenta. For those outside, this exhibit is an exercise in imagination and futility. This was just a small glimpse into the works of Aguilar. Many more marvels await you as soon as you leave this booth and explore the exhibit. Thank you for your patronage. Please enjoy the gallery and have a wonderful day.